everyone and welcome to week one of building Castle Black in Lego. I am super excited to start my new mock building series and I cannot wait to show you guys the plans and the layout that I have for this mock in this week's episode. Now before I begin, let me give you guys a brief background as to what Castle Black is. I explained a little bit what Capsule Black was in my announcement video, but for those who didn't watch my announcement video, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it briefly right now. So Castle Black is the base of operations. It's like a fortress for a group known as the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch is a uh, group of men who protect the world from white walkers and wildlings who live on the north side of a giant ice wall, which in the universe is simply known as the wall and I will be incorporating part of that wall in my mock because Castle Black is right up against that ice wall and in the universe the ice wall is 700 feet tall and 300 miles wide but obviously mine won't be minifix skill or not even close to minifix skill I just want to have it in the background and make it look scaled to my Castle Black mock as possible. And I'll get more into that as I show you guys the layout in this week's episode in just a few moments. But if you guys are excited for my bowling series, definitely smash that subscribe button and click the notification icon so you won't miss out on any future weeks to come. So this mock is special to me because this is my first castle mock. I'm known for building Star Wars and Marvel mocks and this mock will be quite an interesting project for me. So when it's all said and done, this will probably go down as one of the best mocks I've ever built. Now with all that out of the way, let's jump right into this week's episode. So as you can see, I'm currently on my computer. I have a little um, webcam just so you guys can see my face while I'm explaining the layout of my castle black mock and so as you can see it is bigger than 3x3 gray base plates originally i wanted this mock to just be 3x3 gray base plates because it's not too big but it's bigger than 2x2 gray base plates but just because of all the buildings i wanted to include and the size of the castle i decided just to extend it uh, with a row of 32x32 32 base plates which is in green and as you can see behind uh, the 3x3 three three gray base plates, I have a, I guess a row of half the size of a 32x32 32 32 base plate, so a 16x32. That is just to make room for some of the filler brick uh, for when I start building the wall, which uh, just jumping right into it, the blue line that you see in the far back is actually the wall of ice. I'm not sure how tall I want it to be, but I want it tall enough to where it looks to scale with the rest of the mock. And obviously, even though this mock is going to be big and look uh, relatively uh, minifig scale, it's not 100% minifig scale just because if I were to, it would just be massive and again, I don't want this mock to be super big. And I might even make it this row of 16 by 32 base plates just 32 by 32 so making it even bigger depending on how much filler brick I will need for the wall. I know I'm going to need a lot. And hopefully this will be enough considering I don't want to make it super tall. If I have to extend it or make it to a full size uh, 32 by 32 base plate, that is also an option. And so this yellow section right here, let me go ahead and zoom in. This yellow uh, part right here is actually the gate or the doorway that leads to the other side of the wall. And obviously I'm not going to build like the north side of the wall. My focus with this mock is solely uh, Castle Black. So looking at this mock from a bird's eye view, I think this is actually a very good view so you guys can see just the size that I'm going for. So everything you see in red is the buildings. So as you can see there's two buildings in the front here, one in these two base plates and then one on this base plate. And these buildings are not connected to the main castle even though, even though they are a part of uh, Castle Black. And so the main aspect of Castle Black are like the camps that are in the center. So right here in this area, then right here in this other area over here. So there's going to be like fire pits, uh, training areas, and stuff like that. Normally what would you see in a castle of a bunch of boys training with swords and shields. So I'm very excited to start working on like the outer defenses, which is on the left and right side. Uh, in the show, there's like a few battles that take place like Castle Black, mainly between the Wildlings and the Night's Watch. And I kind of want to incorporate some sort of scene with that mock 
I'm not sure if I want the whole mod to be that entire battle or just a portion of it to be um, battleground. So we'll see once I actually start building this mod. And so these big square buildings right here in the back are, I would say, the biggest, or I should say the tallest points in the mock. And this right here is, I think, the Great Hall, or it might be over here. One of them is the Great Hall, and one of them is like um, where uh, the Lord Commander, the leader of the Nice Watch, that's like his uh, quarters. I am familiar with Castle Black, but there are some like hidden rooms that I may not know about that I'm going to have to research about and that's also another thing i wanted to bring up i don't know if i want to include every room of castle black in this mock i know i want to include like some like important rooms like the dining hall and obviously the lord commander's headquarters the camps the tunnel that leads to the other side of the wall and stuff like that but maybe like with these outer buildings i can include some sort of interior because these buildings are at least like three stories so um, and that's and they're pretty tall, so that's going to be a lot of uh, greebling great pieces. So we'll see if I want to include a full interior or every single room in this mod, but I definitely want to include some rooms in this mod. So you may be noticing this black section right here. So this is supposed to represent uh, like the elevator, so to speak. There's this big um, shaft, I guess you can say, that goes all the way up the 700. Uh, feet ice wall to the top of the wall because there's also like some defenses on the very top of the wall and there's a walkway that you can walk with. I believe like in universe the wall is like 300 miles long or something like that there's a walkway that goes the entire length of the wall again I'm not going to make the wall minifig skill so I won't be able to include the top portion but I at least want to have the shaft that goes uh, somewhat up and down I'm not sure if I want to have like a motor function or I might even have like some lever and a string system to where you roll the, uh, the lever and the, the elevator goes up. So that is something I do want to include and that will be a very cool aspect of this mock. And you might be able to see over here I included just a blank figure just to show you guys a sense of scale. So even though it's not 100% minifig scale, it is definitely going to be big and it's definitely going to look scale to a minifig. And obviously, I'm sure you guys are wondering, what am I going to do for minifigs? Because obviously, uh, Likely does not have the rights for uh, Game of Thrones sets or minifigs. So I'm going to have to try and buy or make my own purest custom figures. Which I was looking into that. The prices aren't super bad for custom figures. But I would say like for random Night's Watch members, I... I kind of have an idea, a purist idea of what I want to do, um, but I'll go into figures later in this series. Figures are not a priority right now, but just to give you guys sort of a hint of what I'm going for, a lot of the Night's Watch members, I'm thinking if I were to go the purist route just to use like the Jedi robes, like from like a classic Lego Luke Skywalker minifigure from Return of the Jedi with his black robes, um, that is an option I am looking into in some other official lego prints to use for minifigs but minifigures is not something i'm worried about at the moment i want to focus on the castle part and before i close out this segment of the video i do want to mention that the castle is sitting on kind of like a mountain of snow so this mock will be elevated before i even start building the wall and I I mentioned earlier that I already started designing some of the buildings, specifically these sections over here, uh, digitally. And so far they're about, I want to say 10 bricks tall already, and they might grow even taller. So the tallest point may even be like, I want to say max like 13 or 12 bricks tall. So it's going to be like 13 or 12 bricks tall before I even start building the wall. So that's just going to give you guys just a little glimpse as to how much filler brick I will need for this mock. So just to recap one more time, the blue is going to be the ice wall and this yellow section right here is going to be the gate that opens up to the other side of the wall and there will be like a tunnel area over there with some details. And then this black section over here is what I'm going to call the elevator or 
the shaft that goes all the way up to the wall. Then everything else in red is all the buildings that are in Castle Black. So I hope you guys like my final layout for this mod. This layout has been through a few iterations, but this is the final one. And I can't wait to show you guys what I've already started mapping out physically. So as you can see, I mapped out the big section of this mock, mainly the 48 by 48 light blue gray base plate sections. And that is because I don't have enough room to fit uh, that row of 32 by 32 base plates on the right side and then also the filler base plates on the back side. But once I'm mostly done building this section, I will move those base plates onto this table and start building that to complete the castle. But that will be in future segments from now. I'm not uh, concerned about that those sections at the moment. But I'm mainly going to be start building in the first few weeks of this building series on these two front base plates and then a little bit of this base plate right here. That is because I would say I designed about like 80 to 85% of these two base plates and then like 40% of this base plate just to get a sense of scale and to see the texture and how I want to build uh, the buildings that'll go in Castle Black. But this is very exciting. A lot of the one by bricks that I used to map out this mock right here was from my Agents of Shield bus mock because that plane was all black and I had a lot of black pieces on hand. So I was able to use that to map out most of Castle Black. And then on this table right here, I have the 32 by 32 green base plates. That is the row of base plates right here that finishes the right side of the castle that I showed you guys uh, earlier uh, digitally on studio. And so once I have most of this complete, I'll move these aside and make room for that row and start building there because I'm gonna build that section last and I'm gonna start working on this area first. So right in front of the green base plates, I have these shoe boxes right here. Now these shoe boxes contain a lot of white, dark bluish gray, reddish brown, dark brown uh, pieces to start working on the some of the, like the interior stuff in Castle Black, like some of the staircases, ramps and stuff like that, that are in between buildings and also in the camp sections over here on these two sides. Figured I might as well just dig through all my collection and see what useful parts I can use for this mock so that way I don't have to spend too much money on this mock. And as you can see over here, I went through all these bins of pieces trying to find those parts that you all saw in those shoe boxes. So that took quite a lot of time and that is why I delayed making a video about announcing my mock because I wanted to get everything prepared before I announced it. Lastly, inside this box contains half of my uh, pick a brick order on lego.com. These were the best seller parts, which means they shipped between five and seven days. And with the regular parts that you order from pick a brick, they take up to like three weeks to ship. And I'm not sure if mine even shipped yet, but I know I ordered them at least a month ago. I know their system is behind, but luckily I got in the best seller parts because these parts are pretty crucial to start building some of the buildings in Castle Black. And as you can see, I have a lot of snot bricks, headlight bricks, uh, one by two plates and some jumpers as well. These will be crucial for starting this section of the castle. And these white snot bricks are actually going to be for the border, the black border that I plan to have um, in this mock. It's not really like a border. I would call it like a frame because I'm going to do it differently than what I did in my air kit mock because in my air kit mock, I use black bricks that go on the edges of each base plate. But for this mock, I'm gonna have uh, plates and tiles on its side using these headlight bricks to create a nice frame. And then the corners here will be curved using uh, the smooth curved uh, Lego pieces in black. So I'll explain more about that in week two when I actually start building. But I just wanted to show you guys what parts I already have on hand and what already came in to start building. So I actually ordered a lot of the flicker effects board that is going to be used for like lamps and fire pits that I plan to include all throughout Castle Black. It's basically all natural lighting through fire and lamps and stuff like that. And I'll go over that in future episodes to come, but I just wanted to prepare myself for lighting it because again, I wanna have this entire mock 
lit up like my previous mock was. That is all I have to show you guys in this week's segment. So let's go ahead and close out this video. So this is going to conclude week one of building Castle Black and Lego. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope y'all are excited for the plans that I have for this mock. Definitely let me know down in the comments what you think of my layout and if there's anything you guys would like to see incorporate into the mock for those of you who had read the book series or have watched the show and know what I'm talking about. Now in week two, I'm going to start building what I designed digitally. And speaking of that, so because I go back to school in a few days from now, week two will be delayed till my next break when I come home, which I believe is the first week of March, which is my spring break. Now because of that, there will be a long gap between week one and week two. I wanted to finish week one and get it published as soon as possible during the start of the new year to get you all excited for my mock that will probably last me the rest of of the year in 2023 to build. I'm not planning on having it done for this summer. I actually plan to have it done for next summer in 2024. So I have quite a long time to work on this mock, but because I'm in school out of state, it's hard for me to make progress uh, when I'm away at school, obviously. So I have to do all my progress when I'm home for breaks. So I will probably make an update video between when this video is published and when I go back to school, just so I can have some progress done before I leave so I don't have to wait till spring break to actually start building physically. But I do have other stuff I really want to get done and share with you guys so that'll just depend on the time that I have between now and when I go back to school. So this is going to conclude this video so thank you guys again so much for watching. Like, comment, and share this video and I'll see y'all in the next video.